Hello you absolute legends, and this is to help you with the calorimetry lab, the second part where we experimentally determine the specific heat of a metal. Our metal is this hose fitting that is in boiling water. So we know that the hose fitting is starting off at 100 degrees Celsius. We're going to put the hose fitting in this water, and this water is currently at 22.9 degrees Celsius. We expect this water to increase in temperature when we put in the hot piece of metal. To start the experiment, we want to hit collect in the upper right hand corner. And we see our starting temperature of 22.9. And we see a straight line going across here. Now we want to put our hose fitting starting at 100 degrees Celsius, putting it in here. Okay. We see the temperature immediately rise. And it's going up. Give it a little stir. That just helps mix around the water and have the transfer of heat. So this experiment is over, okay? Note that the experiment is over when we have when the temperature starts going down. We put in so we can hit the stop here. Okay? So the temperatures we want are the initial temperature, the lowest we observed, and that was 22.9. And the highest up here, we can scroll down through this and see that it was about 24.6. It went from 24.6. So from there we can see our total taint change in temperature. I hope this helps. Thank you. Part B of the calorimetry lab, finding the specific heat of the metal. We just saw me put the hot piece of metal into the room temperature water. The piece of metal weighed 20 degrees, 20 grams. The water was 150.03 grams. My temperature change of the water was 22 and something to 24.6, so it changed 1.7 degrees. The temperature of my metal started at 100 degrees Celsius and went down to 24.6, so I had a 75.4 degree temperature change of the metal. This is meant to be a picture of what you just saw. <clears throat> Our assumption is that the energy absorbed by the water must be equal to the energy released by the metal because any temperature change was due to the addition of that hot piece of metal. Because we use liquid water, we know that the energy absorbed by water is, a, is absorbed at this rate, 4.184 joules per gram degrees Celsius. This is the energy per gram per one degree Celsius. The energy absorbed by water is in joules, so we need to use this scaffold to cancel everything except for joules. And we want to make sure we use grams of water and grams of Celsius because this is all about water. Well, I happen to have 150.03 grams of water, so using from my shopping list. And it had a temperature change of 1.7 degrees Celsius. Everything cancels. And this would tell us the energy that was absorbed by the water. And note that everything in here is about water. Nothing is about the metal. That scaffold calculated that the water must have absorbed this many joules of energy because we know the mass of the water, we know how much the temperature increased, so it must have absorbed this much energy. The only source was the metal, so that is the basis of this assumption. Now, to calculate the specific heat of this unknown metal, the units of specific heat are always grams, joules, This is what we are trying to calculate about the metal. This 
cluster here is called specific heat. So we need to take all of our numbers about the metal and set them up according to the scaffold. The metal happened to release this much energy because of this assumption. So we start our scaffold, 10. Do I know the mass of the metal? And do I know the temperature change of the metal? The mass of the metal was 20.03 degrees, and it has to go in the denominator. Grams, excuse me. The temperature change of the metal was it started at 100 and went down to 24.6, so 75.4. These are all numbers about the metal, and these are in the right order that we call specific heat. Our experimental value for the specific heat of the metal of this coupling here is 0 0.707 joules per gram degree Celsius. Remember that this are the units for specific heat, like this amalgam. When we Google a table of this, glass silica granite comes up exactly at 0 0.7, but this isn't clearly made of exact of uh, glass silica or granite. This looks like aluminum, it feels like aluminum, and aluminum is 0 0.9, so very close. I hope this helps.